So hello everyone, yep, yeah, probably by the title of this video you know what this is. Um, it's basically like an announcement video to say that I've left Copper 90. Uh, yesterday was actually my last day uh, in the office as like a full-time employee. I've left Copper and I'm now freelance. I say freelance, I'm basically just unemployed. Yeah, so obviously taking the decision to, to leave Copper and go freelance, it wasn't an easy one. You know man, like it's been amazing, it's been four and a half years and uh, we made some really cool stuff together uh, and obviously I'm just so thankful to Copper for you know giving me a platform for giving me a chance to, to do some cool stuff and, and make some cool shit that, that you guys liked. I mean yeah that's not to say that we're not going to work together in the future it's just the fact that now I'm freelance and that you know I can work for them I can work for you know other people and, and in general just kind of like spread out and just do different things. Um, that includes obviously doing YouTube stuff. So yeah, there were obviously there were a few reasons, you know, why I've, I've decided to leave. It's all harmonious and stuff, but it's more just a very personal thing of, of me finally sort of knowing what I want to do and just having more control of, of what I do, who I work with. And also just like test myself, you know, with like new challenges and I want to present more, I want to host more, I want to, you know, try and do some live stuff, I want to do more YouTube, I want to make my own films. I mean, a lot of people have also asked me about the whole Poet and Vooj stuff, about them leaving, and those two leaving, like, obviously it was it was sad for me because they're my friends and, and we made some really cool stuff. That wasn't like the main reason for, for me leaving at all, like it was a very personal thing for me, as I said. Um, obviously when they left it didn't help because Poet and Vooj's stuff and my stuff and that kind of cool YouTube football-based interview challenges type stuff is, basically what I've been working on for the, since I joined, like four and a half years ago. And the fact that obviously I was doing less of that sort of work, but I was weirdly sort of like busier than ever presenting and just kind of being across projects and all that sort of stuff. It just kind of got to me where I didn't really feel like I had the freedom to do other things and do stuff that I really, really cared about and that I really liked. Probably the main thing was that it coincided with me getting quite a lot of offers and opportunities to do other stuff outside of Copper. And now the fact that, you know, I've gone freelance, I'm, I'm now able to do that. So um, please employ me because I'm unemployed. But more seriously, it was just more of a case of like, I just, I like the idea of being independent and being able to do my own thing, control my own time. As I said, like broaden my horizons and really test myself. So that's where I am today. I am freelance slash unemployed. Also on the first video I uploaded on this channel, I asked you guys in the comments to leave, you know, your suggestions of what I should film and stuff that you'd like to see. Quite a few of them were about kind of myself and my journey and kind of like Q&A type based thing. I'll probably do a more substantial Q&A down the line, but for now I thought it would just take an opportunity, it's probably a good time to give an update on a little bit of like my journey, how I got here, equally like my plans for the future and stuff. And of course, if you want to know more, just leave comments with your suggestions or anything you want to know, anything you want me to film. I have a few ideas, but I will be answering them very shortly. Lena VR said, I would like to hear your journey, more about you as a person. How did it all start? How did it, how did you get so far in creating sports content, etc.? Looks like a dream job. Yeah, I mean, I guess it is like a dream job. It has been for the last four and a half years. The main idea for me was that it never seemed like a job. It was something I really loved doing that if I didn't have that as my job, that's what I'd be doing anyway. But yes, basically, very briefly, I joined as an intern for like social media stuff at Copper90 four and a half years ago, February 2015. Through that, I started doing more of the social on Poet and Vooja stuff, really hit it off with them. It was just nice and fun, and the way they were filming, the way they were doing stuff, they were like, yeah, that's no, fine, just come on camera, have a laugh with us. And slowly started getting introduced on comments below as like a cameo weird figure. Obviously the more and more I came on as a cameo figure, uh, more people were like, who's this person? He seems all right, whatever. People seem to like me for some reason. Also the fact that I could speak French and Spanish and that I can like play football a little bit meant that if Pert and Vooj were away, you know, we had ideas of videos we wanted to do, but they weren't there that I could fill in. And my big break was like a David Alaba and Renato Sanchez video. And that got a million views in literally like, I think like 10 days. Eventually, I got given like my own series which was amazing and started doing more branded work at Copper. So yeah, that was my journey at Copper. I can do a more in-depth one if you want, but that was it. So, right, even Martin said, anything and everything football from you is always class, be it on the socials or with Copper 90. Vlogs, football trips, you do you bro. Anything Arsenal related is also a plus. Ooh. In terms of like match day vlog type stuff, I'm not really keen on that, like filming at games. Like I prefer to just, you know, I just want to be at the game and enjoy it or not enjoy it if being an Arsenal fan. B14 says the same thing, road trips and match, football match vlogs. Yeah, 
Cam Lee says, weekly football show talking about the games will be pretty cool. Keep up the grind, Timzy. Thank you, Cam. I'd love to do more chat showy type stuff, um, either like as a presenting gig or like a guest sort of, sort of thing. Equally, sort of like, you know, podcasts and, and interviews and that sort of stuff. Um, whether that be on here or uh, elsewhere, I'm kind of yet to figure that out, but I do want to do more stuff on here. Paolo Rilama says, great name. Football reaction videos, how about like a certain challenge with some people? Congrats, Timzy, and look forward to the vids. Thank you. Um, yeah, I actually am going to do some more like actual like football heavy videos. One thing is I want to start like my Saturday league team. I want to do that as like a weekly thing. So like documenting that, showing the highlights, but equally sort of like the behind the scenes and just what I do on my Saturday, which is football. I will be filming like certain kind of like football fun challenge videos. Uh, I know like Theo, Theo Baker wants to do some with me as well. So just doing more of that, getting out and about, playing football, you know the deal. Artur Goodnesson says, honestly, I could watch anything of yours. Podcast, kit collection, football vids, challenges, vegan recipes, Arsenal related stuff, vlogs, whatever you do, bro. You do you, boo. Hilarious. Artur, you're a legend. Kit collection, I mean, I got a lot of kits, but it is absolutely nothing compared to what Vooj has. So just watch Vooj's kit collection video when it comes out. And vegan recipes, yeah. A lot of people actually ask me stuff like, how did you become vegan and why and, and what's the hardest thing and how can I transition and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I'll do probably more comprehensive one later, but it's just I just did it for health reasons a few years ago and feel good, that's it really. Isaac 7 y 21 why are you blonde? Basically, I was in LA and I was bored, so I was like, eh, I'll go blonde, fuck it. Plus that coinciding with like, Midlife crisis because I'm actually not as young as I look. Wade Wasim says Q and A, bro. Yes, yeah, so this is sort of like a botched Q and A, like a little last minute thing, just because I thought it might be good to just update you on my plans and stuff. I'll probably put it on my socials, like Twitter or Insta, or whatever. Get questions from you and then answer them in a big video. But I wanted like start making stuff, so um, that's probably the priority at the moment. Last one, uh, Ellis says start a FIFA series or something. To be fair, I've got the new FIFA 20. I'm gonna bang it. So. I might as well record it and then like make it into a little series or something. I think the actual first video will be later this week. And also EA, they gave me some codes as well. I think one, one Xbox code and one PS4 code for the FIFA 20. Stay tuned for that video because then you can just enter for that, through that video and maybe win. Um, so obviously subscribe and what is it they call it? Notification gang. Notification gang, woo. Do that as well if you want. If not, it doesn't matter. So that is it for the little update, uh, the announcement video. So stay tuned, I'm actually gonna be a lot more active on YouTube, so I'm gonna try and upload at least like once a week. Leave your comments as well down below, leave any suggestions of what you wanna see or what you thought of this video. One like equals one prayer for me being unemployed. Mm. And obviously subscribe if you want. And yeah, I guess I'll see you later this week. Thank you so much for the support. Safe.